Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this equation that contains cube root radicals and eventually we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solutions as well. Before we solve this equation, this uh, cube root equation, our index is 3. And if you are not sure what is an index, I have just put down the body parts of a radical. So this small number on over here on the left hand side is an index. Let's go ahead and start solving this equation. We want to get rid of this 11, past 11. So I'm going to put negative 11 on both sides. So this positive and negative 11, they are gone. We ended up with 2 times the cube root of 3x plus 1 equals to negative 10. Now, since this cube root is multiplying by 2, I want to divide both sides by 2. So, this 2 and 2 cancels out. The cube root turns out to be equal to 3x plus 1 equals to negative so far so good. Now we want to undo this cube root. So we're going to take the power 3 on both sides. So this uh, cube and cube root, they undo each other. We end up with 3x plus 1 equals to negative 5 power 3 is same as negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 is going to give you negative 125. Now I want you to subtract 1 from both sides. So this is gone. So 3x equal to negative 126. So before we go any further, I just wanted to let you know that the cube root of an A is same as we can write is as an exponent 1 over 3. And when you take the power 3 on both sides, they undo each other, we end up with an A. And if you are still not sure, I have put down the proof right up here for your info. So let's focus on our equation on the left hand side. So now we're going to divide both sides by 3. Once you divide both sides by 3, so x turns out to be equal to negative 42. And finally, we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution. So our solution was negative 42. So let's go ahead and see wherever we see x replace it by negative 42. See what happens. So we put down 2 times the cube root of 3 times the negative 42 plus 1 and then plus 11 question mark. Is this left hand side equals to 1? So let's go ahead and multiply this one. That's going to become negative 126 plus 1 the cube root and then 2 is outside plus 11. So that's going to become negative 125 with the cube root and then 2 is outside and plus 11 again question mark is it equal to 1. So now look at this part over here. This is going to be only this one is going to be negative 5. And then we have a 2 outside plus 11. Is it equal to 1? And if you are not sure how we got the cube root of negative 125, negative 125 is right up here on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and multiply negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 plus 11. Is it equal to 1? Yes. 1 equal to 1 question mark. Yes, that means this statement is true. Thus, x equal to negative 42 is indeed our solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.